What was the quickest job you quit and how long? I already did one response to this video in which I talked about a job that I left after just a few weeks because my car died while I was delivering pizzas. But over the weekend, my wife reminded me about a job that I had only for two days. Some years ago, I got an offer for a courier job for a magazine that was basically just a bunch of ads for services and companies that help veterans or whatever. And so I went to the interview and I talked to the guy and we had to meet at like a gas station somewhere down in Connecticut and it was all very weird looking and I wasn't entirely sure, but I got the impression that maybe there was something sketchy going on with this company, but like the thing I was doing wasn't sketchy and I was going to get paid and I was just like, eh, it's probably fine. It wasn't fine. So basically what I did for this job was they would sell ad space in their magazine and then when people in Massachusetts wanted to pay for that ad space, I would go as a courier, pick up the checks from them, I would get a list of places to go to each day, I'd go and I'd pick up the stuff and then I'd go to the bank and I'd deposit the checks and I'd take out some amount of money for my payment. So my payment came directly out of the checks I was depositing, it was cash back, whatever. On my second day, I went to this shop in Agawam and had talked to them for a little bit and they were asking me these questions. I was telling them that, like, I don't really know. I'm not the person that does the magazine. I'm just a courier. I'm here to pick up, you know, the check. If you have questions or you want to upgrade or whatever, you want to talk to the guy that you talk to on the phone. I don't know anything about that stuff. So they were like, all right, all right, fine, whatever. Cut me the check that they were paying for their ad space. And I left and went about my day. I finished my runs for the day. I dropped off at the bank, I took out my money, I went to uh, pick up my wife because we had plans that night. And before we got going, I got a call from the guy who runs that magazine asking me to go back to that shop that I just mentioned because they were talking about upgrading to a larger size ad. Now, the place wasn't really terribly out of my way for where I was going, and I mean, it was a little bit more money for the day, so I was like, sure, why not? I'll swing by real quick. I got permission from my wife, we went over there, we stopped at the place, I go in with the clipboard that I had. It was a clipboard that opened, and so I had a bunch of paperwork inside of it. And they asked me, started asking me questions about the ad space. And I'm telling them again, I don't know anything about this. Like, you're asking me questions about stuff that I don't, I don't know. I'm, I'm just a courier. And while we're talking, while they're asking about ad space, and I'm telling them what little I have but directing them somewhere else, a police officer walks in. And I'm like, hey, how's it going? And he starts asking me what I'm doing. And I tell them, well, I'm here talking to these people, uh, picking up a check. So he starts grilling me about the magazine and calling it a scam. And I was like, listen, I don't know anything about that. Like, you're asking me all this stuff about the magazine and how it operates, and you're asking me where it's published and everything. I don't know any of that. And they're like, is that your partner out in the car? I was like, that is my wife, because I'm on my way to meet some friends. That person isn't involved in this magazine at all. I'm barely involved. I'm literally not even employed directly by the magazine. I'm a freelancer who is a cur providing a courier service right now. He doesn't believe me. He keeps pressing. I keep explaining the same thing over and over again. He's making all these accusations. I'm telling him, listen, are you going to charge me with something? Because I haven't done anything illegal. I'm here picking up a check that they are apparently buying a thing. I don't know whether or not the thing they're buying is a scam. That's not my business. I have no idea what's going on there. And I mean, maybe, I don't know, maybe there is a legal problem with that. But we're going back and forth about it, and finally he tells me, fine, you can go. He, ver he manages to verify that I am just a courier, that I'm not the person running the magazine. He calls the guy who runs the magazine, and it clearly isn't me because I'm not the one talking, and my wife isn't the one talking on the phone. So he realizes that I'm probably telling the truth. And he tells me I can go, but he tells me I'm never allowed back in Agawam again, which I'm pretty sure he didn't have the authority to do. But as it happens, I have never been to Agawam again. I've just never had any reason to go there, I guess, since. At any rate, we leave there. I leave. I'm like, okay, fine. There's no check. This is this was a sting to try to catch the other guy who's running this magazine that apparently is a scam. Uh, but it has nothing to do with me. I leave. So I'm on my way out, and I get a call from the guy who runs the magazine, and he is throwing a fit. I mean, he's furious because they've just called him, and they're accusing him of all these crimes, and they're saying they know his bank account information, and he's accusing me of giving them his bank account information, which I didn't do. I kept telling him, I didn't do that. Like, I promise, I didn't do that. And he's like, well, how else would they get it? I was like, do they actually have it? Like, did they tell you the numbers? Do you know that, they, that this threat is real? Like... When they say they have your bank account information, did they did you verify that in any way, or did you just call me to yell at me about an accusation that you assume I did? He didn't really have a good answer for that. And we went back and forth a little bit, and finally I was like, "Listen, I I'm I'm done with this." And he was like, 
No, no, look, you know, uh, I'll pay you more, you know, we'll, we'll sort this out. I won't send you to Agabom anymore. I'll, I'll try to vet people more carefully. I was like, no, 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 no. I just got a, almost arrested. I got banned from a town by a police officer because of how shady this whole thing is. And then you want to call me up and yell at me and make accusations to me about something I didn't even do. And this is how you run your company? I'm not doing it. I don't work for you anymore. Find another courier. I'm out. And so we argued about that for a couple minutes until I hung up on him, and I never talked to him again. So yeah, I guess that was the shortest job I ever had, the fastest I ever quit a job, and uh, only the second scan that I ever worked for. So, you know, whatever.